Good morning, Spartan families. Today is day two of the procedures uh, discussion day. Today we're talking about bus drop off and pick up. So if your child is riding the bus, there's a few important things you need to know. First, the schedule. Every Monday is a late start day, so buses will be coming 50 minutes later than normal, and that applies to the very first day of school. So Monday, August 15th is a PLC late start day, meaning Jefferson will start school at 10 o'clock. Normally, school will start at 9.10, and so the buses will be coming 50 minutes earlier Tuesday through Friday. But that's a very important note to remember that Monday is late start and the buses will be coming 50 minutes late. Now when the buses pick you up, they'll, they'll bring your child right here to this turnaround area right here. The students will be held on the bus for 10 minutes if they're not eating breakfast. If students are eating breakfast, they'll be immediately dismissed from the bus at 8.40 Tuesday through Friday and 9.40 on Mondays. They'll enter in through door number 15. They can, they can go eat breakfast. Now this year, school breakfast is paid. That's important for families to know. School breakfast is paid this year for all students and school lunch is paid as well. So that's an important distinction to know here. Now for all other students who are not eating breakfast, they'll stay on the bus for about 10 minutes They'll come into the school, be welcomed in, and sit in the atrium by the gym until the bell rings. Once the bell is ring, the students will head to class for the day. Now, at the end of the day, at 3.40, the bell will ring, and students riding the bus will remain in their class until their bus is called. We have three buses here for Jefferson, and the students on the first couple of weeks of school will have a wristband indicating the color of their bus, whether that be yellow, blue, or red. So their wristband will make sure they get to the right bus because there'll be a picture in the bus window that indicates the color of their bus. So that's important to know. Now, if you are having a transportation change on the first day or first couple of weeks, Let's say, for example, that you want to drop your child off on the first day of school, but you want your child to ride the bus home. You need to make sure that your child's teacher and the bus transportation department is well aware of that. There's a place on the Warsaw Community School website to indicate that you require bus transportation. Provide your address. If you have not yet signed up for that, and not yet indicated that you need bus transportation, let the front office know as soon as possible. Particularly if you're a new student or an incoming kindergartner, please know that bus transportation needs to be set up as soon as possible. That's it for today's video on busing. We'll be back tomorrow for more back to school procedures.